like weather means Canada's parks, lakes, and cottages are buzzing with more than just excitement. Mosquitoes, black flies, bees, and ticks are also enjoying the warmer weather. And so with tips on avoiding, detecting, and treating bug bites, we are joined by Dr. Dina Kulik. Welcome. Thank you very much. Good morning. And Good morning. I got to say, uh, I don't know what it is, but every single time I go to a cottage or anywhere outdoors, uh, bugs treat my body like an all-you-can-eat buffet. I get bitten way more than, you know, my friends. Likewise. Uh, yeah, I don't Myself know what it Myself included, is. absolutely. So let's talk about preventative measures before Absolutely. treating and identifying what can I do Absolutely. so wearing long clothing makes a big difference as we're heading into summer it might get hot but meanwhile we can wear long sleeves so lighter colored clothing tends to work better mosquitoes are less attracted to lighter clothes so long sleeves tucked in in layers to pants tucked in to socks very sexy look but it can make a difference in terms of mosquitoes not getting in time of day time of day so really dusk till dawn makes a big mm -hmm. difference so mm -hmm. ideally you're inside during dusk till dawn that's when the mosquitoes are out the most and I love uh, the focus on kids as absolutely. well because kids we always talk about protecting their skin with sunscreen but the mosquito net absolutely so younger children you know using a mosquito net can be a great thing just a barrier protection just like the clothing and then using you know mosquito repellent insect repellent Many people are quite scared of DEET containing products, but they are safe. They're actually the most safe things, more than even kind of a natural kind of products. For kids less than six months of age, you want to use just simple mosquito netting, barrier protection. Kids more than six months of age using a DEET containing product that has less than 10% DEET. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the product, it'll tell you how much percent, and that's the best thing to look for. Less than 10% DEET, safe for six months and older. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about ticks have been in the news so much of late, and that is, I feel like I'm Googling tick bites and what they look yes. like all the time when Excellent. we head to the cottage, just so I am aware. Let's go over again what we should be looking for. Right. So ideally you do a bit of a, a tick check when you are hiking or biking or cottaging. If you check your child each night, I think it's a good strategy to identify if they have a bite. If they have a bite, you want to take very simple tweezers like these ones and you want to go nearer the bite, um, the mouth parts of the tick, and very simply just remove the tick from the skin. If you're checking each night, the tick is not likely to be there for a couple of days, mm -hmm. which is what would increase the risk of Lyme. So even if a tick has Lyme disease, if it hasn't been adherent for two to three days, it's very unlikely to actually cause Lyme disease infection. So you want to remove the tick very simply, put it in a simple container in a Ziploc bag, mm -hmm. and bring that to your doctor. How quickly will it bury itself? In it doesn't usually go into the skin, it just kind of bites deeply and just hangs out there and gets bigger and bigger. Okay, gotcha. Yes. And now let's talk about bees or wasps. So obviously I feel like they're one of the most identifiable because when you yes. get stung, it you hurts. feel it yes. right away. Absolutely. So after you identify it, how do you treat it? So if you do see a stinger left in the skin, you want to take just a simple you know, card like this one or a credit card and brush the stinger away as opposed to with a tick where you'd want to remove it with, um, with tweezers because if you squeeze it, venom can actually insert itself more into the skin. There's so a brush sack, it right? Correct, correct. So you just want to brush it away and then simply, you know, ice, washing it with cold water, applying something like, um, like an itch spray so that it's not uncomfortable. Ibuprofen is great for minimizing the itch and the discomfort as well. Okay, now maybe the most common mosquito bites. Absolutely. So super annoying, super itchy. We know how to prevent them now. Treating is simple as well. So again, soap and water, using something in itch spray, or if there's lots of mosquito bites like we were all talking about, you can use an over-the-counter oral antihistamine that will decrease the itch everywhere, icing it again. And a really easy trick for home is to use baking soda and water, make a bit of a paste with it and apply it to those itchy spots, and that will decrease the itch and decrease the, uh, the swelling there. Now, I have a feeling I know the answer to this question. But, you know, I remember growing up and I had some friends who said, you know, if you have a mosquito bite and it's itchy, you take your fingernail and you make an X on it right. and that will help make it better. Is, is that true or well, it's no? it's distraction, right? So if you're causing a bit of pain, it'll distract you away from feeling the itch. Okay, right. fair. Yes. Dr. Dina Kulik, thank you so much for coming in.